नमस्ते आदाब एंड सत्यकार एवरीवन सो फाइनली द डे फॉर व्हिच आवर टीम वाज वर्किंग डे एंड नाइट फ्रॉम द लास्ट 3 मंथ्स और फॉर व्हिच वी हैव पुट इन आवर्स ऑफ लेबर एंड इमेंस एफर्ट हैज कम एंड आई तानिया हु इज द होस्ट फॉर द इवेंट इज वेरी एक्साइटेड टू टेक यू थ्रू दिस ओपनिंग सेरेमनी ऑफ द एक्सीलेंस अवार्ड्स होस्टेड बाय एचआर सक्सेस टॉक So before initiating this opening ceremony I really want to put forward one of my favorite quote that is going far beyond the call of duty and doing more than others expect this is what excellence is all about it comes from striving maintaining the highest standards and looking after the smallest details and going the extra mile excellence means doing your very best in everything and in every way so today's launch ceremony is meant to recognize extraordinary talent and demonstrated by all the participants we have an exciting lineup waiting for you all so if you all agree with me please write yes in the chat box Wow thank you so much for motivating me let's proceed ahead so proceeding ahead with the day now let us welcome our honorable jury members advisors participants our dear volunteers and everyone present in this meeting a warm welcome to all of you on the behalf of hr success talk Now we would like to thank our sponsors Nimbus and Biryani by Kilo. We are really proud to have you here. Thank you so much. Uh doesn't seems like I'm the only one talking. Still, let me quickly share my happiness with you all. So as we all know how covid-19 disrupted and brought many changes to everyone's lives and in this covid-19 i took this opportunity to host today's event where people from all parts of the country and even globally joined us today with much ease so thanks covid for giving me this opportunity also aaj dress choose karne mein sirf 1 ghanta laga as you all know So now it's time to spread some positivity in the air by singing Lord Ganesh Aarti. Jai Ganesh, Jai Ganesh, Jai Ganesh, Jai. माता जकी पार्वती पिता महादेवा जय गणेश जय गणेश जय गणेश देवा माता जकी पार्वती पिता महादेवा एक दंत दयावंत चार भुजाधारी माथे पर तिलक सोहे मुंह से की सवारी एक दंत दयावंत चार भुजाधारी माथे पर तिलक सोहे मुंह से की सवारी पान चढ़े फूल 
चढ़े और चढ़े मेवा लडुअन का भोग लगे संत करे सेवा जय गणेश जय गणेश जय गणेश देवा माता जाकी पार्वती पिता महादेवा community who has taken this initiative to launch the excellence awards and this is none other than hr success talk a big round of applause for hr success talk <laughs> and for that now i'll request the founder mr govind singh negi who is a senior director talent engagement of three pillar global services to give us a quick introduction and take us to the journey of hr success talk community over to you govin thank you tanya for uh, such a wonderful start and mr pankaj for this awesome uh, ganesh rp i think that was a great kick off to this event um i'm not sure i don't think i have a great voice like you mr pankaj and tanya but i can try to be more formal with my presentation as i have been given responsibility today to uh present about our our community and tanya said do it quickly so i'll try to do it quickly as well um i think somebody is presenting i'm sure it might be surbhi who is presenting and that's the reason i am not so surbhi if you can um allow me okay i can now hope you guys can see my screen if tanya you can confirm yes awesome so uh let me introduce uh the community of hr success talk to all of you today um as i said this is a community of hr and um we have 1 lakh hr professional who are part of this community at this point in time we were founded in 2012 uh it's almost now 8 years uh, we are in this journey um and these people are connected with us in various uh social media platform and other various ways which i will talk about in my upcoming slides um the purpose why we are here um we are basically a platform of 
all the human resource professionals, also the business leaders. Uh, and the idea is to make uh, everybody a better professional every single day. Uh, this is the idea. This is all the thing we are doing today. The award ceremony is part of that vision itself. So this is what we are committed to. Moving forward, uh, if you are a part of the HR Success Talk in any way, even if you are on our Facebook page or on Twitter or on LinkedIn or YouTube or any other platform, if you are a part of us, uh, these are the three things which normally our member get as benefit. Uh, they get an opportunity to share their experience with others and they also get an opportunity to learn from people who are more experienced than us. Uh, we get an opportunity to find mentors who can shape our career. And we also get an opportunity to network with other fellow HR colleagues and also the business leaders uh, in the industry. We have built this learning ecosystem to um, support our vision of making our members a better professional, a professional every day. And these are the learning ecosystem we have with webinars, HR forum, social media presence, HR Sting Meets, YouTube, Assessment and Certificates, HR Award, as you know, and we also have a website where you can find a lot of blogs from very seasoned HR professionals and can and keep yourself updated on new things in the field of human resource and business. Let me quickly jump on each one, each one of them. Uh, these are our webinars. Uh, so far, we have done uh, 16 webinars. We started this in lockdown. Uh, since April 2020, so far did 16 and still counting. Uh, this is our HR forum with 20,000 registered member. Uh, this for, the objective of the forum is that if you have any specific question and you need people to answer them, or you need some formats or all the things can be, you can reach out to this forum and uh, ask the questions. This is our social media presence and there are some numbers you can see um, on the right hand side again, each one of them. Um, you can find us on WhatsApp. If you if you want to be part of a WhatsApp group, uh, you can simply send a message to anyone anyone you know in HR Success Talk and they will help you to uh, register you in one of our uh, WhatsApp group. We have 21 groups so far with 2,500 members. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, website, LinkedIn, uh, we are present in all the prominent social media platforms. Um, <clears throat> before lockdown, we were we used to do HR Sting Meets, which is basically in person with a lot of seasoned HR professionals from many good non-companies, fun. You can see on the picture. So I'm sharing some of the glimpse of some of the HR Sting Meets we had in the past. Uh, we hope once the situation is normal, we will kick off um, or restart uh, the HR Sting Meets again and love to see all of you face to face there. We have a YouTube channel uh, where we have launched certain playlists um, so that people can get maximum out of it. These are the four playlists we have launched so far. If anybody wants to learn about employee engagement, learning and development, emotional intelligence, and HR journalist, please feel free to go to our YouTube channel and look at all the videos. I'm sure uh, you will get good insights uh, in the playlist. We are also in assessment and certification. We have done 11 online assessments so far. In fact, today we are uh, doing an online certification um, on HR journalists. Uh, the registrations are closed because today is the assessment day and a lot of people are participating participating in it as well online. Awards, you are very much aware of this vertical. <clears throat> we have done two awards in the past. One was the Eminent Woman Leaders Award and our first award was the Eminent Young HR Leaders Award where we, where we were uh, celebrating the success of women and HR leaders. Um, as you know, you all are participating in the, um, the Excellent uh, Excellence Award, which has six different categories. We will have our award ceremony on December 12th. We got 150 plus nomination across uh, India, and we have um, all the six categories, one category for one category. We have not asked for nomination. It will be more like self-selection uh, from our side. Uh, so we will be announcing the winners on December 12th. This is our website. Go, please go and watch, uh, look at all the blogs we have there, uh, www.hrsuccesstalk.com. Uh, it's myself, um, founded this um, community eight years back. We also have um, a pool of advisor who help us and guide us to take this um, community to the next level. Thank you to all of them. Uh, we have a team of almost 50 volunteers who work 
each day to make this uh, community the better better one on the top of the top on the line you can see all the leads who are managing different verticals like uh, webinar forum certification youtube awards H we also have a hr team to look after all the volunteers our social media team designing and our blog uh, if you also want to be one of our volunteer um, you need to have four qualities uh, one you should be willing to spend some time voluntarily you should have a zeal to help other you should have some time from your busy schedule to serve the community better and you should have a hunger to learn because there are a lot of things which we do only exclusive for our volunteer. Uh, in the month of December, we are doing a series of communication skill, which is only and only for our volunteers and not open for public. If you want to reach us out, uh, you can send us email at info at hrsuccessstaff.com. Even if you want to be a volunteer, you can send us email on that. And if you have any suggestion, questions, uh, feel free to reach out on this. Uh, with that said, um, I would like to welcome each and everybody um, on this um, call today, uh, where we are going to have our case presentation ceremony. Uh, and I wish all the all the best to everybody post the session. Over to you, Tanya. Thank you so much for this presentation and Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I'm very proud that I am a part of this organization. So again, thank you. So as we all know that leaders become great, not because of their powers, but because of their ability to empower others. And it gives us immense pleasure to introduce our jury members of the third award series, the Excellence Awards 2020, organized by HR Success Talk, along with Nimbus and Biryani by Killers. So, aap sabhi ka dil se swagat hai. And now it's time to welcome our very first jury member, that is Mr. Anil Bhaseen who is an ex-president of Havels India Limited and a jury of business excellence category. <laughs> Let's welcome Mr. Ankush Aroda, who is a senior vice president and head human resources of Groffers and a jury of HR excellence category. Now it's time for Ms. Anandita Mukherjee Sinha, who is a head corporate communications, LNT, MRHL, and a jury of women excellence category. <laughs> Next we have is Mr. Harilal Bhaskar, who is a CEO at Incubation Center, Aral Incubation Center, Indian Institute of Information Technology of Kotayam, and a jury of starter at Startup Excellence category. <laughs> Let's welcome Mr. Indranil Bose, who is a Dean and School of Business University of Bolton, UAE campus, and a jury of Educational Excellence category. Next we have is Mr. Masood Nayak, who is a CEO at Lyco Technologies and a jury of Startup Excellence category. <laughs> Let's welcome Ms. Nalini Jolly, who is a board of directors, non-executive director of Federal Mogul Goish and a jury of Women Excellence category. Next we have is Dr. N.K. who is an advisor and influencer former a founder director of Jaipuria Institute of Management Lucknow and professor emeritus and advisors of IMT Center for Distance Learning Ghazibad and a jury of education excellence category. <laughs> Let's welcome Ms. Padmini Mishra who is an advisors and influencer people practices 
business mentor, board member, ex-chief people officer of Cox and King, and a jury of HR excellence category. And now it's time to present our prestigious jury member, who is Mr. Pankaj Tube, who gave voice to the Ganesh Arti and a managing director, CEO India Power Global and DSP and Consulting and ex-managing director of Polaris. Also a jury of business excellence category. A huge, huge round of applause for all of our jury members. <laughs> So now it's the turn of <laughs> So now it's the turn of our valuable participants who have taken care of the initiative of nominating themselves and got the courage to present their case. So first of all, let me congratulate each and every participant. A huge round of applause for our all the participants. We are very happy to announce that we, that we received 160 plus nominations, out of which under five categories, 50 participants presenting their case today. And a good news, every category will have five winners in total, 25 winners will be identified today. And the best part is, winners will be at the same level, no first or second, either third. The winners will be decided at a flat structure. So kudos to all the participants who have nominated themselves to showcase their case. So now it's time for the most important information. That is the volunteer will be taking care of individual categories and request all the jury members to log in their respective login IDs. So all the very best to all the contestants and now I'll request any of our jury members to wish luck and speak a few words to motivate all the participants. So can I request anyone from the jury member to wish luck on behalf of all the jury members? Yeah, Tanya, so I'll take the initiative. Uh, Thank you, sir. You know, uh, it's uh, really proud to, to be part of this HR success uh, uh, jury event. It's, it's really good that you are appreciating the hard work of the individuals uh, who are contributing not only to themselves, but to the society. Because, you know, everyone that you have shortlisted are either leaders in their own respect, uh, respective field or they are uh, entrepreneurs. And in both cases, they uh, develop the team, they develop the people, and it's directly correlated to the work uh, done in, the in their field, which is, will be recognized today. And... Uh, most of the time, you know, you do the good work. It's mostly the criticism that comes in. And, um, but uh, in, in this world, if you have some appreciation for people like uh, those who have uh, contesting today, uh, it's, it's the reverse. So that's, that's where, you know, the humanity survives with the appreciation. Uh, however, the uh, truth is that you get a lot of criticism as well. So criticism is very common and, and it comes all the time, but appreciation comes very rarely. And those people who think about appreciating are the, are the people who are going to take leadership to the next level. And I'm glad that uh, the entire team of HR Success has done this work. The best wishes to all the uh, contestants for the win. I also appreciate the way that you are saying that there are no first and second because anybody who has walked into this forum must have done some great work. And that is why you differentiate between first, second, and third is like uh, saying that you would do something extra. So that's also a very nice initiative. I appreciate that. So best of luck to all the participants and also to all the jury members to enjoy this day. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your kind words. So now can I request anyone from the participant to accept jury wishes on behalf of all the participants? Yeah, sure, ma'am. Yeah, hi, this is uh, uh, Pratima and uh, I think uh, the way you guys have organized this entire thing is very nice. And I'd like to thank uh, all of you for organizing such a nice grand event. Thank you. And also to the jury for agreeing to uh, listen to a bunch of stories. Thank you so much.
So uh, my name is Vishwanath. I'm a participant. I'm uh, pretty happy about the kind of jury that you guys have uh, enlisted us. And I'm sure <clears throat> the kind of work that we have done and the showcase that we are going to do, I think there will be a lot of appreciations. And then I'm also seeing that if there is a critical kind of input also could be given to us so that it will actually help us in you know, our future. But uh, again, thanks once again for HR Success Talk. Thank you. Tanya, can I speak? Yeah, sure, sir. Yeah, Anil Basin decide from, uh, I am the ex-president of Hebels. I have a work experience of close to now four decades. Uh, I was going through the Gita and Gita uh, in the three words can be explained very well. Three C's. One is the confusion. The second is the clarity and third is the confidence. You see, Arjun was confused and we all are confused at this point of time, what to do, what not to do. We need to have a clarity and for that we have a mentors and HR is the best person to tell us, guide us which way to go, which gives us the confidence that we can bounce back. During this pandemic time, I think all of us were confused uh, how the things will go, but we are getting clarity at this point of time with, and we are getting confidence that we'll do it. And this kind of forum also will encourage and uh, the team recognition will also do the encouragement as uh, Pankaji has said that it is very easy to criticize someone very difficult to encourage or recognize someone. So I think this forum will help all the young participants to bounce back and uh, contribute back to this society. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, everyone, for your kind words. Like, literally, the our participants definitely going to be boosted up. So now I'll request one of the participants to accept jury wishes on behalf of all the participants. Yeah, hi. I already did. So this is Pratima, and uh, Pratima. Uh, I'm from SCMHRD, and uh, I quite like the way you've arranged. When we participated, I was a little uh, not sure, but today's event, and of course, the very, very great jury members is something that makes me feel that, yes, we are uh, on the right track, and uh, all, uh, all the best wishes from your team and those from the jury uh, are, I think, now needed. <laughs> so we've come through one filter. I'm hoping that we'll be able to make it through the next filter as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Oh, good morning, friends. I have been hearing everybody. And uh, you know, the only thing I want to say at this time is, which I always feel that uh, Competition is very, very good for survival. Competition is very good for, you know, learning. But winning and losing should not be something that motivates or demotivates us in any way. The fact that we have put in our best for whatever we wanted to is something that has anyways made us reach a very high platform. So whether you win or you don't win, I don't think that's going to be very important. Yes, the winners should celebrate. But those who are not, you know, uh, getting that uh, category of a winner should not get demotivated. So like uh, our friend here, Mr. Anil said, during COVID, lots of ups and downs. I think all our life also, we've had lots of, lots of ups and downs, even as students. So just be motivated, just be happy, be, in, you know, joyous, enjoy life, listen to songs, keep working, keep performing. We have a lot of things in life than just winning and losing. So cheer up and enjoy the event. I'm already enjoying it. Welcome to all the participants and my friends, jury members. Hi, everyone. Uh, good uh, morning still. Uh, uh, what I feel about a competition is uh, it's just a game, you know, how you uh, play other games in life. It's just like that. And uh, recognition and awards just mean that you have to work harder. That's it. And uh, if someone is a notch below, please don't feel that it's a failure. It is definitely not. Maybe that particular day, okay, you were not in your best. You were not best in your form. Uh, that's it. Uh, self motivated. With Nalli said very rightly, be self motivated. Joe, don't just wait for people to motivate you. Be self motivated for that. You need to love yourself. Do some self introspection, and. Uh, 
have the right attitude which i always have believed in life and when i say uh, right attitude uh, i strongly believe it is 100% what is required from you and not what you are giving because um, you know attitude if you uh, add uh, the letters of attitude a taking one it equals up to 100 so that's all about right attitude and uh, all the best to all the participants i won't say contestants participants i'm sure you are doing wonderful work in your respective fields so today it is the time to just uh, you know be in your best and give your best that's it it's just a matter of a notch higher or lower that's it this is not making any decision in your life but yes it is definitely giving you a recognition and motivation and kudos to hr talks brilliant job i know uh, i mean uh, chef ali for a long time i can see the transition in her life and i think that is all about success and that is all about performance at its best all the best to everyone and thank you everyone okay let me be a representative of hr talk today and uh, thank you everyone for joining in the zoom meeting today Okay, thank you so much, ma'am. So now can I invite Mr. Harilal, Mr. Masood, Ms. Anandita, Mr. Thupar, and Mr. Indranil Bose to speak a few words. Hi, all leaders. I, I, I just want to start to say, you know, uh, thank you so much for your determination. You know, one of the activities is because I can start this, you know, we can make it for this program, of course. And I, I, I take the word of, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Sejo, say who be. Because every opportunity for us, even for the you know, we are really strong leaders you know, because we have so many businesses. Especially on, on the category of our startup, you know, looking at the startup business and all of startups, okay, actually, every day is a learning for a startup. And of course, the difficult challenge time is especially you when know, everything is starting. We are in the new world of life now, so, you know, all of things. I think, uh, you know, this thing that changes and you are accommodating all these things. And all the very best uh, for the first, and we of course, we're going to talk. Once you, you know, have after your presentation, we have a one point four hours to see what what kind of thought process. And it's just like a new learning, of course. Also, we can take what we have learned from our own experience in the past of the sector. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Harilal. Thank you, Mr. Sudhir. Thank you, Mr. Sudhir. Laugh two hands, which says, if it is to be, it is up to me. So uh, it is really, uh, you know, uh, for all the participants who have had this courage uh, of, you know, nominating themselves and, and being a part of the journey where I feel uh, learning is never ending. And even if uh, someone is not making to five, uh, you know, uh, is a winner, uh, I don't think even someone is losing uh, because there is a learning and uh, learning is never uh, ending. So I wish a great success to, to all the participants. And uh, this is being, uh, I basically come to India after 16, 17 odd years. And I'm really excited uh, to be part of this jury and uh, to be part of this entire, uh, uh, you know, forum, which is taking HR to a next uh, level altogether. And the cohesiveness and the cooperation and coordination is really, really amazing uh, given the covered situation here and uh, how uh, people have come together and uh, are trying uh, their best and I wish a great success. And we will have more of interactions uh, during uh, this uh, day and maybe afterwards it is well uh, to connect and to, to make it uh, even much better and to take it to different level altogether. Thank you. Good morning to all. In fact, uh, learning is very important in life. And one should not uh, be afraid of losing anything. And of course, nobody is perfect, but we should try to be perfect. So competition is important in life and we must learn from our mistakes. Mistakes lead to success. There are so many examples in the history of humankind where so many failures have taken place, but ultimately those failures made them successful. So therefore, I hope that one who loses the competition does not mind and he tries to be perfect in his life through learning and continuous learning is very important. I wish all the participants 
very good luck today. All the all the very best. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I think I'm audible. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to tell you that uh, HR is perhaps the most dynamic discipline in management to me uh, because uh, human resource management is dealing with the human mind, human performance and all these things. So uh, because we, we know the human mind is a black box, we do not know what is going inside. And the most important part is this managing that people and we are getting the best of them is the most challenging task for any organization, for any, any manager. Uh, for any type of performance, because uh, being a head of the school of business also, I have to deal with the faculties, with the students, with uh, different other stakeholders, I know. Uh, so the main uh, challenge is here is that, see, always, always, continuously, I have to learn. Everybody has to learn in their professional field, their personal life, everywhere. So uh, unlearning and relearning is always happening. And sometimes while uh, going for relearning, we are... Uh, say facing a lot of difficulties emotional stress and other things are there because we are meeting with different kind of people with different backgrounds different challenges different ethnicity different linguistic groups and other things are there and nowadays another new challenge has come up that we are going everything on e-platforms earlier we used to know that the uh, e-commerce will be is only there now we are doing everything on e-platforms because i was seeing a few days back that a uh, lot of universities, even in IIT in India, they are conducting convocations online. Uh, so, which was completely unthinkable I mean, few years back also. Uh, so, now we are happening this conference, uh, this award ceremony also online. And uh, this definitely has given us the greater scope to interact with the people from the uh, different geographies and different uh, uh, locations. That has actually the distance is no, no more an issue anymore. Uh, this has given us the opportunity to learn and uh, hear each other. At the same time, it has yet created the uh, different skill sets requirement for all of us. Uh, like say now managers are uh, managing their people from home. We are teaching our students from uh, home. And also we are talking about hybrid workforces and all, all blended learning and other things are there. So the main major challenge is that definitely unlearning and relearning is happening for all of us. We, well, whether you like it or don't like it. Uh, but point is that see, always we have to learn, always we have to grow. Uh, always we have to adjust with the environment, with the situation. Otherwise, we'll not be able to survive. And uh, uh, this is a, a, a good opportunity to interact with the people uh, from the HR fraternity. Uh, I am basically from the HR background, though I am working in the academia for the last 20 years uh, in India, in UAE, also in UK. Uh, now the point is that, uh, see, uh, I'm very happy to be here. Uh, and Shef Ali, uh, she contacted me for uh, this program, particular program. And instantly I agreed to be part of this because I am very happy to talk to the people of the HR fraternity. I, I, this is a discipline which is very close to my heart. And I wish you, I wish all the participants and everybody good luck for this day. And we should enjoy the day very much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you so much. Uh, hello everyone and thank you so much. So uh, I hope everyone who's participating uh, is, is reasonably anxious fear-filled and uh, nervous because I can tell you that's that's exactly how I'm sure the jury is feeling as well. I don't think today is going to be a day of casting judgment on either or. It's going to be a great day for all the participants as well as us and obviously HR success uh, handling everything. So all I want to mention is please enjoy the rest of the day. Put, your, put out your best. And then let it be. It really doesn't matter what the rest feel about you. What matters is that you've had the courage to put in your nominations, to participate, to compete, and that's good enough. So all the best. Do well. Only for and your entire team for organizing this. I think lots of blessings and good luck have been shared with all the participants. So I will not. Uh, add on to it but nonetheless my all the best wishes to the participant i have a selfish reason to be here it's it's more in terms of you know what i stand to learn from the participant so that's something that i'll be really looking forward to right as uh, dr dhuper said that learning should never stop so i'll continue that tradition we'll continue to learn i see some familiar faces but uh, all the best to the participants looking forward to a very exciting day today Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today.
And now the important news that the winners will be announced on 12th December 2020. This 12th December 2020. So all of you, please be available as for the schedule given to you after the event today. So now I would like to request Mr. Gobind Singh Negi to say a word of thanks and wish luck to the participants. Once again, thanks, Tanya. Uh, I think in the journey of eight years, starting with one person in the community to now over one lakh members, I think uh, the the team or people who have lived our vision of. Um, being a better professional every day or consciously improving uh, themselves is the team of our volunteers. Uh, they have uh, every day made any of the event which we do, whether it's, it's awards or webinar or any other um, vertical for that matter. They have always produced a high quality of the work uh, in this community. And I'm sure they are learning with this whole process itself. Uh, so first of all, I think my vote of thanks will be to all the people, all the volunteers who are behind this show. It is not an easy task to do such an award uh, ceremony, which is so long, where the participants are very senior itself. Like juries are, of course, <laughs> they are seasoned uh, HR professionals from different uh, industry, but the participants are also very senior. It's not easy to keep engaged with them and making sure that we are going through a flawless process. So my first vote of thanks is to all the participants uh, and volunteers and jury members who are here um, to make this uh, event a successful event. Um, I know there are a lot of things already been said, so I will not anything uh, additional. I just wish all the best to all the people who have participated uh, in this um, award ceremony. I'm looking forward to December 12th the day when we're going to actually announce it. Uh, believe me, um, the journey is great. The winning will be awesome. So just stay tuned for our uh, final announcement of the winners for December 12th. Uh, thank you very much once again, team, and um, wish you all the best. Over to you, thank, Tanya. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, everyone, for giving us your precious time. And may you continue to inspire us for many years to come. And may you always remember how much you are needed, respected, and valued. So thank you so much, everyone. Have a very nice day. Ahead.